Steve Holly, Eileen Holly, thanks for joining us for this shuttle memory. Two for the price of one on this one. Steve, five shuttle missions. Eileen, the voice of mission control for who knows how many dozens of missions. Uh, let's talk about favorite shuttle memories. Steve, you were there when Hubble was deployed. You were there for one of the repair missions. You also are famously, I think, the astronaut responsible for more scrubs on the launch pad, supposedly. Tell us, give us one, I, I, I know you have a lifetime of memories, but give us one. Yeah, you're right. It's hard to pick one. Uh, I guess if I, you were going to force me to pick one, I would say it would be in 1997 on SCS-82, which was the second Hubble servicing mission. Uh, to get to go back to Hubble seven years after we released it in 1990, uh, it was kind of like visiting an old friend. Um, I was curious to see what it would look like after seven years in space. Distressed a bit at the condition that I saw. Some of it was, you remember the aluminum foil uh, protective system was kind of ratty and torn and, and the yellow paint had faded and there were holes in the solar array. But, but uh, you know, beauty is internal and it uh, was, was still a, a very beautiful sight and, and is still today, although we won't be able to see it anymore. Well, as an astronomer, to be associated with those missions, um, it's kind of hard to, to cap that or top that, put it that way, isn't it? No, it really is. Yeah, for me as an astronomer, to be involved with basically three of my five flights were observatory missions, two with Hubble and one with Chandra. And to now in the classroom be able to share some of those discoveries with students who weren't even born when Hubble was launched. <laughs> uh, it's, it puts it in perspective. It's, it's really uh, quite a privilege to be able to say we were a small part of that. Well, to be a part of that and then uh, be teaching from a textbook that has been rewritten because of Hubble has got to be kind of extraordinary. Let's talk just briefly, though, about you and the scrubs. I mean, you famously had to wear a brown bag <laughs> over your head so as not to tell the shuttle that you were on board. Uh, a lot of good fun over this, but you, 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 for whatever reason, had a lot of scrubs linked to you. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I used to think it was uh, Tip Talone. He was the flow director for my first three missions, and we would joke back and forth about who was really responsible, but uh, I don't even know. It was 15 or 16 times getting on board uh, in an attempt to launch for five flights. And, and as I've told audiences before, I, I count differently uh, than NASA does. You know, For NASA, a scrub is if they start to tank and then decide not to launch. Uh, for me, a scrub isn't. You actually get out there, get on board, get strapped in, they shut the door, and the closeout crew leaves. Then if you don't launch, that's a scrub. So uh, I had something like 16 times getting on board, and, and 11 or 12 of them were, were scrubs. Wow. That's a record that will hold, obviously. All right, Eileen, uh, you, you were there in Mission Control at the PAO console, uh, and uh, tons, you know, front row seat to history. What was your moment? Actually, my moment, Miles, was, I think, more as a spouse than, than um, as the voice of mission control. And my fondest memory, I think, was during the STS-31 mission. And we were out at Edwards waiting for the shuttle to land, and we decided to go up to the top of this hill, and it was dark, and it was cold, and it was windy. And we stood out on this hill, and we watched uh, the Hubble Space Telescope fly overhead, followed by the shuttle flying overhead, and heard the deorbit burn call had been approved and knew that they were going to be on the ground in an hour and a half. And it was just amazing that you could watch them in orbit um, and see the Hubble fly overhead and then have them home 90 minutes later. It's a heck of a trip around the globe. Eileen Holly, Steve Holly, Team Holly from Lawrence, Kansas, thanks for joining us and uh, we wish you well. Thank thanks you very much. much. Good to see you.